We have ignition, baby. We back at it with another one. Look, I wanted to touch on this little topic here. Uh, and I'm about to show y'all what it is. Let's jump right into it. The actor Jaleel White was having an affair with someone on set, though the claim was never substantiated. There was a list of probable culprits, and among them was Kelly. This became yet another cause for consternation for the young woman who had to begin learning workplace politics at an early age. The last thing she wanted was for her name to be associated with drama. Personal lives. There were occasional rumors and speculations about romantic relationships among cast members, but these remained largely unsubstantiated. The actors were careful to keep their private lives separate from their on-screen personas. Just Firstly, let me say... As we saw there, they're talking about, you know, oh, there may have been something going on between Kelly and Jalil behind the scenes and all that, you know, all that kind of rat tat tat tat, you know what I'm saying? And let me say this, first of all, I really don't care. I really do not care. And, you know, I really just, I, and I say I don't care because I really just do not think it is that big of a deal regardless, because I do not think it has anything whatsoever to do with their chemistry, um, what they did on the show, what they accomplished on the show. If it affected the show in some type of way, then it might be, you know, some type of things. You know what I'm saying? But the reality is of it, they, they, they made history together. They were brilliant together. They're one of the greatest TV sitcom couples of all time. And that's what matters. But if y'all want to know the truth about this rumor, come with me, come with me, come with me. <laughs> one kiss on the cheek. One kiss, one kiss, one kiss right there. Keep your hands on the table where I can see them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No hand participation. Don't move your head and no, no puckering. No puckering. Just land it right there. Just land it right there. With you. I love how Laura rolls her eyes here. Smooches. So look, well, this young. Y'all see? This year is young. Okay, they're this year's young right here. And their chemistry is amazing then. This is why I keep saying, this is why the show went in the direction that it went. It was not just the Steve Urkel character. It was this, right? You feel. Do what you feel. <laughs> Get off me, bro. I felt the earth move. Something was moving. It was all moving. Steve, we're supposed to grade each other on this assignment. And right now, you're staring down the barrel of an F. F. F doesn't fail. One kiss. I'm going to peck on the cheek. Mm-hmm. A momentary oscillation. Take me somewhere else right now, Laura. Take me somewhere okay, else. Did I have a headache. <laughs> I thought you might say that, so I came prepared. Aspirin, baby. Aspirin, baby. <laughs> Again, we're going to season two. And this is the direction that the show went because the producers and whoever else involved saw what this was. Saw that these two right here were about to be special together. <laughs> Go home right now. My manly ardor has frightened you. It's frightened you. She a little frightened. <laughs> That's okay. It won't happen again. I'm prepared to wait forever if need be. In the meantime, I hope you'll accept this small gift as a little memento of our two glorious weeks together. Steve, this is really beautiful. One third carat diamond with one tenth the sparkle of your lovely eyes. And you know what's so dope about this though? When he says that, look at how often Steve looks into Laura's eyes. So he already knows what it, when she was opening it up, he's looking at her eyes, trying to get eye contact. Some of y'all men can learn a little bit of something right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I love y'all. I love you, but I'm just saying. This is real? Where did you get the money for this? From my stay away fund. Every year, all my relatives send me money and hope that I won't visit them. <laughs> Steve, I can't accept this. It's too expensive. But my little baguette, it was a mere $800. Woo! $800? Are you out of your mind? That's some pennies. This is a school assignment. Mm -hmm. It's pretend. Taking it too far. We're not married. Mm -hmm. We're not engaged. We're not even dating. And we never will be. But I thought you, what I like is for you to leave me alone. This is the birth of Stephen Lowell right here. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm just talking about, you know, the chemistry. Um, you know, I, I really doubt that they were uh, uh, interested in each other at this age. Birth of them right here, Stephen Lowell. Laura, I know I'm not worthy of you, but I just can't help loving you. I can't help it. It's like wanting to touch a star. Right. You know you'll never reach it. But you've just got to keep trying. Can't give up. Can't give up on love. 
Hit it right there in the heart. Hit it right there in the heart. Let me, let me, I'm going to say this. This don't have nothing to do with that, but you know I always got to say. This is how you know even this young that there's something in Laura's heart for Steve. Now, but the girl's in tears. Why is she in tears? Because he touched her heart. Why did he touch her heart? Because she actually does care. Why do you always say things like that? Mm -hmm. These last two weeks have been wonderful for me. Spectacular. It's the closest I'll ever get to marrying you. Not, not, not so That's why I wanted you to have this. Right. No strings attached. No strings attached. Just the one to my heart. Ooh, just the, no strings attached. Go oh, here. <laughs> Lord, you know you see him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now just look at this, man. This is what I'm talking about. It's just chemistry overload. Right? And nobody else would have been able to do it like this. Nobody else but them. Hey, this is probably the uh, the plateau, if you will, of Stefan and Laura, because I don't think they have a greater moment than this right here. <laughs> Get it, y'all. <laughs> How many sitcoms, if any, if any, my people, where you have two, the two same people, the same ones, playing in two different relationships in one sitcom Steve and Laura now it's Stefan and Laura and they still deliver and this is what I'm talking about to where in my brain I'm like did they date did they not date it really doesn't matter because the chemistry was going to be what it was regardless you know what I'm saying Get every last bit. <laughs> did you like that, Lord? Yeah, you did. I'm gonna eat your face off, boy. I'm gonna eat your face off, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so hilarious. Rehearsal was like for this, though. They probably was cracking up. <laughs> Steve, I told you, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. <laughs> These guys insulted you. If they apologize, there will be no fighting. And if they don't apologize? It won't be pretty. It won't be pretty. You. You are the one who called my friend a bimbo. <laughs> I don't know why they had him talking like that. Uh, to me, he could have just talked normal. I, I don't know why. I don't know why they made him do that. That is a disgusting and derogatory name. I have come for an apology. A what? Apologies, like when you say you're sorry or something. Jesus. I know what it means. Well, bye. See, to me, if they, if you were gonna let him make Steve Urkel faces. I think this actually would have been doper in the Steve Urkel voice. So you got him, you know, kicking butt like Bruce Lee, but he's still Steve Urkel. I think if he would have stayed, the Urkel voice this would have been smoother than trying to be whatever, trying to sound however he sounded here. Get him. Why, why am I showing this? Because I want to show all the different things <laughs> that they had Kelly and Jaleel doing. You know, the from the different characters. Now he's being Bruce Lee, right? And who is he interacting with in the, in this? Laura. Okay. <laughs> he did all that. 
ব্যাকে আছে Now said, Joe acts his butt off in this in this scene. In this, I mean, it's just that this this martial arts is not like it's not even acting. It's and a lot of people you learn this skill, but the fact that he learned this skill, you know, while you know, in a, on a show where he's acting is actually phenomenal. <laughs> I like those two cashews with some almonds, with some, with some chocolate. He's getting real with it now. Ooh, so I like that look right there. Now, now we talking. Now we talking, huh? Come on, now we talking. No one messes with war wins wolf. And the DNA. Then I'll unlock the genetic code that made Einstein a genius. Then I'll whip up an elbow elixir. And become the smartest dude on earth. Mm. Hello. <laughs> You're already one of the smartest kids on earth. Just be yourself. This is stuff people forget Laura says to Steve. You're all you are already that. Just be yourself. Y'all don't realize how powerful that is. When somebody literally tells you to be yourself, you know what I'm talking about, is one of the most powerful things you will ever hear. And coming from her incredible, you look exactly like Albert Einstein. The experiment was a success. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't think you use Einstein's here. You use Elvis's. I will admit, this is where Family Matters gets off the band, off the wagon, off the bandwagon, off the, off the street, off the curb, out the neighborhood, okay, at this point. But, uh, but I'm trying to make a point. Hold on. Murder. to note your bizarre behavior i'm noting i'm noting steve snap out of it this is mr fleming of mit i know priscilla baby i can see him <laughs> so before it's getting a little silly okay it's getting a little silly but nonetheless who is in these uh episodes with him and in these scenes with him silly or not it's Laura, right? And you have to ask yourself, why did they do that? Now, remember, the Myra character is on the show at this point. But who's still in these scenes? Who's still right next to him in these scenes? Laura. You're blowing the whole interview. Whole interview? Uh, uh, you don't have to arrange that with the colonel. <laughs> Look at Laura. <laughs> Mr. Fleming, there's a clear explanation for all of this. Steve was worried about this interview with you, so he decided to change his DNA pattern to Albert Einstein's, but he made a mistake and used one of Elvis's hairs instead of Einstein's and transformed himself into the king. <laughs> no, it's not getting anywhere. <laughs> does this sound as crazy as I think it does? Yes, it sounds worse. Oh, yeah. It sounds worse. <laughs> so this is what I love, though. Again, just showing this, you know, why are... The kid, why are the producers doing this? He could have been in this scene with anybody else. I mean, this could have been Eddie. It could have been Myra, who he likes to favor, who Jalil, Mr. Jalil likes to favor over L Laura all the time. I'm going to get into that. But no, they recognize, again, like I told you, they squeezing it. We're going to try to get everything that we can get out of their, their chemistry right here. Steve, another new look? Mm. Not bad. Thanks, boo. But I ain't Steve. <laughs> I'm OGD, Steve's cousin from Detroit. And you, 
must be the legendary Laura Wien's love. Hmm. Oh yeah, Steve was right. You are finer than Halle Berry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, look at <laughs> I love this. Look at how Harry is grabbing Laura's jacket. Like, do not interact. Do not interact. I did not raise you for boys like that. Look at this again. Why does OGD have to be interested in Laura? Okay, I'm just trying to tell y'all these. <laughs> and I bet you got more lines than the phone company. Exactly. <laughs> so, did Steve let you in? Yeah, he said it'd be straight if I crashed here for 72. You feeling me? Hey, DJ must really like you. He's loaning you his dinosaur pillow. Mm. <laughs> of course he likes me. What's not to like? That was not to like? Oh, baby got back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Baby got fist too. Yeah, yeah, baby got fist too. I love Laura. Yeah, baby got fist too. Don't get punched out, dude. See, why you got to be so mean? I'm not mean. Look, I even brought you an extra blanket. Well, girl, you got me so hot. I don't need no blanket. Mm. Why are you so bad? Because I'm so good at it. Mm. Now, do we want to remember again? These are the same two people We're going all the way back to marriage one on one when they was in when they were in the in the uh, uh, living room. This is the same two people, just diff all these different characters, all these different things that they that that the, the producers and people have them doing. Oh, you think so? Oh, I know so. Oh. <laughs> now when are you gonna stop playing these games and give me some play? Look, OGD, I'm trying to decide between two guys. Mm. And babes, if I were looking, you're not my type. Oh, you're not my type. Oh, really? And uh, what's your type? Well, guys with their names on credit cards, not their arms. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, <laughs> that was a deep one right there. That was a deep one. Oh, you got jokes. She got jokes. <laughs> Look at these two. Well, you see, I ain't trying to put you on lockdown. Okay, just give a brother some love. My jam right here. Come on, girl, let's dance. That's okay, so kind of tight. Well, I'm tired too. I'm tired of all these games. <laughs> I know the women in Detroit don't fall for those tired lines. Oh, but baby, you're not knowing. <laughs> you're not knowing. The ladies love some OGD. <laughs> well, not as much as OGD loves OGD. <laughs> as much as OGD loves <laughs> You went there? Yes, you did. <laughs> I worship the rain. What is the grass that grows on the ground you walk on? Steve, Steve wait. You, you can't just leave. Why leaving. not? You're leaving, Lord. Because because I can't imagine my life without you. Mm. What are you trying to say? Go deeper. Well, I'm saying that hmm. I love you and I want to marry you. I mean, but y'all know what it is, you know what I'm saying? This is the moments to make you cry. Hi, Steve. Hi. Gosh. You get more beautiful every time I see you. Do I get a welcome home kiss? Okay, let me keep it real for a second. It... I would call Jaleel and Kelly out on this because I'm like, I'm thinking there's no way in the world and the in all of the nine seasons that they worked together that there was at some point that Jaleel looked over at Kelly and was like, God, dog, no, girl, you know, you're looking good. OK, you know, and vice versa. Where you know, Kelly looked at Jaleel and was like, dang, he looking kind of fine, smelling kind of good. You know, like that's human. You know, it's human nature. I mean, Kelly is a gorgeous, it was then and is now a gorgeous woman, you know. And Jalil's a handsome guy, so it's not that far-fetched. But check this out right here. Enough innocent characters in the 90s fame game who were just themselves, good people, everybody loved them, and they fell into this life. And Michelle Thomas is that for me. I never had an intimate relationship with Michelle. She really was like a big sister to me. Michelle Thomas was a part of my confidence building. Then our relationship just kind of blossomed from there. I kind of wanted family matters to end a certain way. Oh, wow. And like maybe with you and Laura getting married. <laughs> if you were at the controls, what would you yeah. have had? I don't know. If she rests in peace. You know, uh, Michelle Thomas was such a huge oh, man. part of the show for me mm -hmm. that, you know. I would have had you marry her. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what now I'm saying? 
I was wondering, uh, I was watching Family Matters, I always noticed you guys, you, you, you look like you were very close and stuff. Was there any cast members you were uh, particularly close with? And, and Michelle Thomas and you're in the cast that you were really close with? Like, right. We were, we were pretty, we were closest out of everybody. Myself and Darius Guy played Eddie Winslow. And, Mich and Michelle, obviously, may she rest in peace. We were very close. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, but, you know, the thing I loved about Michelle is that she was just, she was so about it, so about the craft. If we had to roll around, smash around on the floors, do whatever, fall from this, pratfall this, get our hands dirty, you know, there are a lot of prissy chicks in town or whatever. She wasn't that girl. Okay, you see all the things that he's, you know, that he's talking about there, like, Kelly didn't do that? You know what I'm saying? Are you saying Kelly didn't do that stuff with you also? Okay. Okay. Land it. Gotta land it for me. <laughs> Face down. So with all due respect, but only Michelle did this stuff with him, right? O only, only Michelle did this type of stuff. Okay, okay, all right. What is your problem? You don't have anything better to do than to steal my ex-boyfriend? Ladies, calm down! Woo! <laughs> Steve, Steve, no, no, she's gonna wrestle him. Oh! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna ask the question, the obvious question again. So you're saying Kelly did not do this stuff. Yes, clearly she did, right? So this is what we gotta start thinking. We gotta start using our brain when people put people on pedestals higher than other people, like those other people didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Kelly clearly did it did the same things, probably even got messier, got her hair dirtier, all this other type of stuff. I'm just like, what is this dude made of? But, you know, the thing I loved about Michelle, um, she really loved playing that character. And I, and I like to say, I don't want this taken out of context, she really liked acting with me. Mm -hmm. And I know I really liked acting with her. Because y'all bring the best out of each other. So y'all challenge each other. Yeah, so there's a, there's a, you know, there's a spark and a chemistry that can happen between two people when they're on stage. And um, Now, I think we can all admit those are very beautiful things that uh, uh, Jalil said about uh, the late, great Michelle Thomas. Uh, the issue that I have is that when you listen to him, like I said before, he kind of sounds like this show was about her and him. You know what I'm saying? Um, this There was no Stephen Lore. It was only Stephen Myra. And they're the only ones that had this chemistry and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I think this is so interesting that it's so rumored about Kelly and Jalil when... His loyalty is only in one direction, which is Michelle, right? And this is the thing now that, that I, again, I find so funny when Jalil makes it so obvious. What did he say when the fan asked him who you most closest with? He said Darius and he said Darius and Michelle. I'm talking about the rumor, right? That's the rumor. Kelly and Jaleo is the rumor. And I'm like, this dude to me makes it so obvious of where his heart is. You know, who his heart lies with. Again, I'm going to say it. Y'all brothers know what it is. I'm around enough for you guys to know. But when you go and you put somebody on this pedestal like she's the only one that's done it, there's no guilt there. But what I'm saying is there's something else there. There's there uh, I just saw this interview with Jaleel, and he said that he wanted uh, Myra, Michelle Thomas, uh, to, you know, for him to end up, um, for them to end up together and not Laura. So what's your thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts are that, I would say jealousy, but like, um, she's, hmm. I think that Laura, he knows that Laura had, you know, she made the show as well as he did. It's a team thing. Yeah. He stuck on that. Um, he he tries to put Myra in the place. Um, that, above, above Laura. Above Laura. And um, if Laura, you know, like give Laura her props, don't undermine what she also helped create. And Y'all brace yourselves. Okay. It's one of the greatest performances ever on Family Matters. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> one of the best performances. Stay, my little stud mother. My little stud mother. <laughs> uh, what do you want, Laura? Your hand in marriage, but I'll settle for our Christmas kiss. I'll uh, settle for our Christmas kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Broke everything. I mean, look at her stance. Look at her, like, oh my gosh. Like, just look at this, man. This, I'm sorry, look at this. We just got to look at the stance. Look, look at, she's standing just, uh, what in the world? Oh my gosh, man. Did I do that? Did I, did, land it. Land that line, girl. 
Land it. <laughs> Land it. Yeah. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm about to get you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get here and under control. Are you okay, my precious pun pop? And I never will be. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Tell them. One day, my charms will overwhelm you. Take you over. And then you'll fall into my arms and mm -hmm. I'll bear you a busload of fine, busload. strong sun. Busload of them. <laughs> like I said, this is one of the best performances ever on Family Matters. The ratings back up my claim, okay? Just go look at the ratings. It's one of the highest rated Family Matters episodes. You know what I'm saying? So this is the issue that I have, you know, not in him, you know, wanting to talk about how great the late, great Michelle Thomas was, but it's almost as if nobody else did nothing. Like nobody else was great on that show. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? Kelly Williams Jackson actually became him as Steve Urkel to perfection like who else did anything like this besides him besides him this is game over i got a vince carter you right now this is game over oh, And, um, if Laura, you know, like give Laura her props, don't undermine what she also helped create. And I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's right, right there. Right that he, I don't think it's right that he, he kind of always try to throw her not under the bus. He just doesn't give her the, the, her just the do. yeah. And I, that just might be his little ego and mm -hmm. man, stick over. man, that was my friend right there, man. And she did a straight up mic drop. You know what I'm saying? She basically summed up everything that I've been saying in one sentence, right? She said, do not give Laura, which is Kelly, right? She always calls her Laura. She guess she just loves it. But give Kelly her props. Don't undermine what she also helped create. I mean, that is a bar right there and sums up, in a, you know, in, in a nutshell, it sums up what he does all the time. Undermines her impact. Undermines what she also helped create. Damn. Okay, we're going to get real with it real quick. I'm saying if it was, because remember the rumor was like, it's somebody and Kelly was linked to it. And to me, if you're going to link anybody to it, it should be Michelle. Okay. Like I think he's almost made that all the way obvious. I don't know how you can make something all the way when something's already obvious, but he did it. Okay. And so, but now let me get to the truth of the matter. Okay. It's under his Wikipedia. You can go look this up on Wikipedia for yourself, you know, um, uh, but here's the rumor guys. I mean, this is what I'm saying. People need to really do their homework. Okay. It said, um, uh, uh, white dated actress Christine is it L Lakin from fellow TG TGIF show Step by Step in the early 90s okay in, in case y'all don't know who she is I'll put her picture up bow y'all remember so I think what you're what you're seeing here is people getting messages and things misconstrued because it's actually juicier right this is really less you know juicy y'all know that juicy it's really less, you know, juicy when you look at who it actually was. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I'm talking about, man. Don't be believing all the okie doke and stuff, you know, you know, and, and let people be. You know what I'm saying? Kelly is married to a beautiful husband, has has beautiful, has beautiful kids. Jalil's, you know, probably married and doing whatever it is that he's doing. You know, we didn't leave people alone. Let them be. Hey, they, you know what I'm saying? They are, you know, where they're supposed to be. That's the one thing that I look at. I hope Kelly knows that the impact and the imprint that she has given us, and Laura Winslow, can, it just cannot be matched. And that, you know, like I said, my, my biggest message is, you know, wanted to just wanted to to show at least. Do do I fully know everything? No, guys. But it's it's clear out there. If people would just go and do the research, who Jalil actually dated from the TG, TGIF lineup, not necessarily from Family Matters. Things could get misconstrued and and all that type of stuff. But the real message I really want to encourage people in going into 2024, we'll be in it right now. You know what I'm saying? Is do not let people this year shade you. Shade your greatness, shade your opinion, shade your perspective, shade your influence, shade, shade your, uh, uh, um, I like to call it your essence, right? Don't let people come in and shade you this year. You know, it is okay for you to be that brilliant, for you to be that smart, for you to be that successful, for you to be that, uh, uh, um, impactful, right? For you to be that influential. It is okay. The Bible says, let your light so shine. Don't let people shade your light. 
Do not let people take your light this season. You know what I'm saying? This year. Don't let people do it. I know that there's somebody out there that you live a life and there's greatness and there's brilliance on the inside of you. But people get offended by your greatness. People get offended by your beauty. People get offended by your strength. People get offended that you're disciplined. People get offended that you, that you want to live for God. Right? You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying this season. Don't, this year, don't shrink back. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't let people shade you. I'm not saying go out there and, and you know what I'm saying, get, get fooled with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is recognize your purpose. Recognize your quality of person that you are. And don't let people take that from you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people take that from you this year. And don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to shine. Who it offends, it offends. Okay? Who ain't rocking with you no more, ain't rocking with you no more. But you're going to walk in who God has destined you to be. And when we go and we, we, we allow people to shade us and we shrink back and we don't become, we end up not becoming everything that God's created us to be. And who we will have to answer to in the end is him. And so that is what my message, that's what I got from others. Yeah. God made you with greatness on the inside of you, period. You go off like that, man. I say how I always say it, man. Love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you. Not stay in environments where people don't know the true value of you. If you stay in environments where people don't recognize the value of you, you will shrink your gift to the size of what they can stand. And that's what causes anxiety and depression and stress because you have had to shrink into a form where people can tolerate you. I refuse to be small because you think small. I'm not shrinking my vision because you can't catch up. Keep throwing shade.